Hi everyone, welcome to Cairo's house. Today we've got some subcompact oval chain rings from absolute black to unwrap. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back. So I've gone ahead and ordered them. And these are the subcompact oval chain rings from Absolute Black in a 46 tooth and a 30 tooth. Um, nothing else in the box, chop that away. So, as you can see, we've got uh, some nice packaging there. It's quite thick. So we'll just, uh, I thought I wasn't gonna need my knife. Let's try and slide them out. Yeah, okay, so I've slid them out. Nothing left in there that I can go. Oh, so we've got an absolute black uh, metallic bendable sticker. Look at that. You can bend it whenever you like. Um, some stuff for some cycle insurance and a thank you letter to say thanks for buying my stuff. No problem at all. Glad I can help your business. So we've got here the 30 tooth chain ring. It's compatible with all those along the top. Uh, fits pretty much any Shimano crank, except Tiagra. I think you need to have some modifications done to it there. Um, this combination is the 4630. You can get a 4832, but you cannot mix them around um, because of the size of the chain rings and where the bolts go. So we'll open up the 30. First, what the heck? That's tiny. My word, that's tiny. Um, it's very light as well. Crikey. How many grams does it say? It's 27 grams. Um, so we've got two larger holes and two smaller holes, and you get this packet of bolts. I think we've got here some T, what have we got? Just checking out T30 and T25 bits. Um, with these, they're going to go through the outside of the chain rings in towards the bottom bracket. Um, if you had a bigger size, like a 50, 34, they would go from the outside in, so through this way. And you could get a special special bolt covers. Yeah, they would go through that way on a on the bigger size, but on this size they go through um, this side. So you can't put the bolt covers on, which I was a bit annoyed about because it looks better with nice bolt covers. But hey ho, that's life. And um, these are very light. I'm very impressed. Uh, see, there's the machined ramps. Uh, we've got four of them, so we can get, so the chain kicks up onto the outside. There's a bit of special modification uh, with these um, for your front derailleur. You've got to set it up a little bit differently, which I'll go through in another video, but um, I can't get over how light they are. That's crazy. Pretty solid. They're made out of aluminium, I believe. Let's just check the construction whilst we're checking that. Uh, for the set, it's 174.98 um, pounds I paid. You can buy them separately. A 46 tooth will cost you 104 pounds 99, and a 30 tooth with the bolts will cost you 69.99 pounds um, if you're buying the set from the Absolute Black website. It will cost you 174.98. Um, so we've got CNC machine 7075 aluminium. It's got type 2 anodizing. I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds spectacular. Uh, there's a close-up of the ramps. They are available in different colours. The inner ring only comes in black. And the outer rings come in various shades, um, including blay. Blay? That's a mix between black and grey, by the way. So you can get black, grey, or champagne, but that is the only the outer ring. I got black because I've got a um, 
silver Jura Ace uh, crank, um, which has got black on it. And also I've just bought a power meter uh, left crank arm, which is black. So I thought that would go together. Obviously my power meter is not going to be very correct with these oval chain rings, but um, I'm not into racing or I'm not that much into my power data. So as long as it's as long as it's um you know consistent it doesn't matter if it's wrong as long as it's wrong consistently um i'm loving these patterns they are really cool they look really nice and um, you've got to line them up we'll come to it when i install it but there's uh i think it's that one it goes down i think it goes like that I'm not sure it fits up like that and um, we've got a notch here which goes um, level with the with the front crank arm comes out here let's see if we can piece these together I'm not sure well the small holes goes with the small holes clearly and that seems to fit No, let's turn it around once more. I think I did it right the first time. That's a bit wobbly. So it obviously goes around that way, but we'll come to it when we uh, when we have a look. So I'm going to be riding 4630, which means I'm now going to have 30 on the front uh cogs if you like and a 32 on the back so i'll be climbing up vertical walls at this rate um, and with the 46 according to the forums i'm only going to be losing my 50 11 because 46 11 is pretty much equivalent to 50 12 so so um they're all geeking out about it using gear inches which i don't understand really i suppose i could look it up but I'm not really sure what that is so now let's start weighing it because we would like to weigh everything and we're going to see if the packet is actually correct. So we'll turn on our scales. It's in millilitres at the moment, which isn't very good. So we'll turn it to grams. Um, we've got the 32. If they reckon it's 27 grams, my scales say 28. No, now it's gone to 27. So it was just, no, now it's back to 28. It's pretty accurate. 27 or 28 so we've got the four bolts in case you're interested weigh seven grams no six grams six or seven grams and the 46 tooth chain ring they reckon is 99 grams now let's put it on and see what we can do well i've got 106 there but um i'm going to raise it up so I'm going to zero that and then put it on top it's actually 107 I can just see it underneath there let me move that back for you 107 so we'll have a little quick look around and um, these rings I'm not sure what the triangular bits for or why they're cut out like that Perhaps it's just the pattern they wanted to go for. But the bolt covers, if you get the bigger sizes, are actually that pattern. And they actually look really cool. I was a bit disappointed, as I said, that you can't get bolt covers for these. So I'm just basically going to have bolts showing, um, which is okay. Um, it's been well machined. I have to think. I'll have to look at that. So let's look around this small one because that's quite interesting. The hole is that <laughs> that's pretty close to the to the um, to the teeth there. Look, wow, that one's even closer. And they are um, raised off a little bit. Look, so there's a bit. Of, that's how they get the space in between the chain rings. That's tiny. I didn't realise it would be so small. That is crazy small. 
30 32 it's going to be mental um right so nice packaging um it actually came from poland they're manufactured in poland um which i didn't realize that was pretty cool and uh, the packaging you can use for something else but i'm just going to stick these back in the in the pack because um when i put them on my bike i think i'm going to actually put them on the um, r6 because the r9 obviously isn't ready yet so we'll put them on the r6 and uh, we'll do a video of inst installation and we'll also do a video of what i reckon about them and if i could actually if i actually needed the um, extra low gearing and if i miss the 5011 which i never use so i don't know how i can miss it but i'll still i'll still um i'll still let you know my thoughts so that's what you get in the pack and that is about it for this unboxing of the Absolute Black Subcompact Oval Chain Rings in a 4630. I'm looking forward to watching how they go. So take care, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, and we'll see you on the next Kairos House. Bye.